We are going to talk about wildcards, and wildcards are special symbols that we can use to represent one or more characters, and this allows you to search for files in a more efficient way. The most common wildcards are the star, the question mark, and the square bracket. The star or asterisk represents any character or a string of characters. The question mark represents a single character, and the square brackets represent a range of characters. I'm going to show you an example of each one of these. Let's uh, use the ls command to display the files and folders in my current directory, so that we can work with these files. I want to show you first an example using the asterisk, and as we said, the asterisk um, represents one or more characters. Suppose that I want to show the files that start with D followed by something, and I don't care what it is. So in, in this case, we are looking for files that start with a D followed by something. If we hit enter, we are going to see all the files that start with a D followed by something, but we don't care what that something is, and that's why we use the asterisk. In another example, we are going to use the question mark. Now let's find the files that have only two characters, one and two. I want to see the files that have only and only two characters. If you hit enter, it's going to show you high and two. One character, two characters, one and two. If you look over here, we have this one has two characters, this one has two characters, and you might think, well, what about this one? Well, yes, this one has two characters, but the, this has an extension too. And we never said that we wanted, a, we wanted an extension. We just said that we wanted files with two characters, and that's what we were um, given, a file with two and only two characters. If we wanted to find, let's say we want to find files that have three characters followed by an extension, and I want the extension to have an H at the beginning uh, followed by something, and I don't care what it is. If we hit enter, we can see that this gives us a file with three characters and an H in the extension, and followed by anything, but in this case, we only have one file that meets those requirements. Our requirements are, have been met. Three characters followed by an extension that has an H and that at the beginning, and that's what we were given. Let's try another example, and this time we want we want to see all the files that have five characters followed by an extension, but this time we don't care what kind of extension it is. If you hit enter here, you can see that this is exactly what we got. One, two, three, four, five characters. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and so on. And then we said we wanted an extension, but we don't care what kind of extension. So we got H, we got C, and we got H again, and so on. So that's how you do it. Let's clear this, and let's do LS again. And this time we are going to try to find only the files. I want to see only the files that have an asterisk or a star somewhere. If you were to do this, if let's say you, you want to do, do it this way, I want to see a file that starts with anything followed by an asterisk followed by anything. Well, this is not going to work as we want. It's going to work because it's going to show the files, all the files, but that's not what we wanted. We want to see only the files that have an asterisk in the name. So in this case, it would be plain asterisk and then plain asterisk. So that's what we want to see. But how do we tell 
that we don't want to use a wild card, but that we rather use the actual star or the actual asterisk. Well, the way we do that is as follows. Okay, let's do LS again, and then let's tell that we want uh, a file that starts with anything. We don't care. Then we also want to say that we want an asterisk somewhere in that file, followed by something. We don't care what it is. So this one should show us only the files that have uh, the asterisk, and there you go. So it's telling us, it's, it's saying, show me the files that start with something that have an asterisk and then followed by something. So that's exactly what we got here. The asterisk is somewhere in the name of the file, and that's what we wanted. So that's perfect. Let's do one more example, and let's clean this screen, and this time let's use a square brackets. Let's say that I want the files, all the files that start with a number, I don't care which number, from 0 to, uh, to, to 9, and then followed by something. Does this one should show me all the files that start with a number, followed by something, and I don't care what that something is. So here we go. We have files that start with a number and are followed by something. We don't care what that something is. And let's do one more uh, example. Let's say that we want to see the files that start with an A and then follow by something and follow by a number. So in this case, and, and follow by something else. In this case, it's going to show us Apple 40 and Apple 5. We have we have said that we want to see a file with an A followed by something followed by a number. We don't care what number it is. So once again, for the other file, we ask to see files that start with an A followed by something followed by a number followed by something. We don't care what it is. And that's what we got. So basically, if you understand how these wildcards work, you will be able to see exactly the files that you ask to see and nothing else. If you see something that is not what you ask for, you need to review your wildcards and make sure that you are using the right one. See you next time.